Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome back to another episode of whatever's on your screen right now. It's time to play a little world of horror, as a treat, even. So, don't worry, no, no weird, uh, uh, yeah, great, wonderful, fantastic. I love Knight Errant, why goth ache, when I might not get ending A's. Yay, I love that. It's great. Uh, anyways, hello, welcome. No, no weird stun locks. Hopefully, today. Hopefully, because I can't really think. Like, here's the thing. I've seen some garbage on Twitter, but that's just Twitter, <laughs> and that's fine. No, nothing like existentially horrifying, like a you know a TV show that allows you to relive the the deaths of real people. And they are, their killer is being, like, fictionally portrayed as, like, a Tumblr sexy man uh, for your entertainment purposes. Uh, nothing like that. Nothing like that today. Just just Twitter. I did see a really cool thing. Let's actually get a good stun lock going. I saw on Twitter this, like, weird ass, like, you have these two climbing picks and you're doing, like, CSGO surfing or whatever. It looked fucking awesome. I just wishlisted it. Is it called Lure? Yeah, it was Lauren's Lure. You play as, like, some fucking cyborg guy, right? Android guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's basically just, like, a exploration game where you can... With fun movement. That's the best way I can describe it. And it actually... It has a demo. It has a demo. Because it's... Oh, let's go! Wasda to move around? Okay, okay. Oh, I got the hops, I got the schmooves. Dropping down is safe as long as the floor isn't too far below. Can I wall run? How do I wall run? Press space to jump. Hold it to jump a little farther. True! What does the arrow mean? Like, I'm just trying to get the hops, you know? Oh, wait, 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 I have an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Precision jumps may take a few simulations. Press T to try again quicker. Hold T to reset the level. Oh, I'm loving this. You will slide on steeply angled surfaces. You can also use slides to boost your jump a bit. See if you can use the slide to reach across the gap. Oh, let's go! Okay, no, I can't go down there. Do it, can I... It said the falls weren't too bad, as long as it's not too far below, right? Understandable. Have a nice day. Was there another place I could jump from here? I still am not entirely sure how to... Like... Climb the... Use left control to walk instead of run. Oh, but no, I want to run. I want to schmoove. The blue crystal? Uh, maybe. Uh, hey, you're probably wondering how I ended up here. Yeah, that's me. I'm about to fall to my death. Uh, once you collect all of them, you will unlock a special challenge. Neat. Okay. Uh, well, I can get over there. Is there a ledge there? Okay, I'm just getting used to the hops, right? I'm getting used to the hops. I don't know if I can, like, wall run across there. Because, you know, it's, like, a little... grunkly. So I think... Wait, can I reach around? Ooh, yes, I can. So I think that if I got enough speed here, I could probably build up, like, some cool thing here. Unfortunate. I like that instant retry, that's pretty good. So the original idea was you go around here. Although, I'm actually not sure anymore. Hold on, hold a moment. Wait, how do I get back? Oh, did I, did I not do it big? I don't think I did it big. I actually think I just died. Look at that. Ah. Uh... 
Yeah, I feel like here, let's aim for this. Maybe that can get us back up. Incorrect. We could reset to the start, yeah. There we go. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> this is really cool. Like, I, I like the movement. The sh movement. I do wish it didn't. Uh, I should probably turn the tutorial prompt off. But yeah, this is pretty neat. Apparently, you, in the videos that I've seen on Twitter, you have, like, these, uh, pick things that can, uh, help you, like, navigate around. And I want to get those, because they, like, let you climb and stuff. Now, how on earth am I getting this? Can I just jump it? Like, because that's what I was thinking. No, you, you can't just, uh, you cannot just jump it. So, do I have to do something like this? No. Incorrect. Oh, there's a, I'm dumb as hell. There's just a thing here. Oh, whoops. Am I dumb as hell? I'm not entirely sure. We're getting closer. I don't quite get it, I'll be honest with you. Vertical, slow down, jump, cling. Bling is... What, what is cling? Can I, like... Because that's an X, right? So that, uh... No, that doesn't do anything. I feel like I'm, like, failing to grasp some, like, basic movement tech. I could just be stupid, though. Let me cook. Let me cook. Oh, yeah, I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm, I'm just stupid. Don't, don't worry about it too much, okay? I, I am just an idiot. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Whoops. Yeah, you gotta full send it? You gotta full send it. I feel like I should turn the mouse sensitivity down almost, but this feels... This feels good. You can scan things by pointing at them and holding a left mouse button. Your target reticle will turn yellow to indicate that an object is scannable. Yeah? Safety hut? Safety hut! Let's go! They are used by explorers that travel to the megastructure. They are built for, ex for extreme longevity. Uh, safety hut? There's no way to open this door. Okay. What were they cooking? Sam? Small wind turbine power generator. It must be using the strong draft in here to power the electronics. Neat. There's lore. I may or may not be going the right way. I don't know if the screen tearing is just because of my ridiculous FOV, but there's like a little screen tearing. Whee! Oh, this is a great room. This is a great room. I'm a fan of this. Is there a blue crystal that I missed, maybe? Hopefully no. Oh, where, where are we going? Where, what was I cooking? Oh, let's go. This is such a neat place to explore, you know? Oh, wait, no! I didn't want to go down! No! 
This is so neat. Like, this is just a fun environment to explore. Oh, bonfire? Oh, it's look who it is. An observer that has fallen to their death many years ago. This is giving me, like, I mean, obviously, Maiden Abyss is just cave exploration gone horribly wrong, but this is making me think of Maiden Abyss just a little bit. Web Weaver, when he sees a cave in real life, this is just like Mia. I was not paying attention to the tutorial at all, by the way. I'll just figure it out. Notice the stamina bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotcha. You can also jump off the wall. Correct. I am just skipping the tutorial. Uh, that's stupid of me, by the way. You shouldn't do that. Whoops. Whoops. Do not do that. Do not try this at home. It is a not, it's not a smart idea by yours truly to do that. Please, there we go. Now, I am not jumping because then I would lose all of my stamina and then I would die. Ooh, let's go. What is this? Not everything is climbable. You can hover your target reticle to find out if it's climbable. If it turns orange, the wall, okay. The wall, TM. Let's go. I'm down. The wall, TM? You can shimmy around corners too, give it a shot. Oh! Am I going the- I am going the right way, right? There's something up there. There's something up there! If you miss a jump, keep moving forward and you may grab the ledge to save yourself. I don't really want to think about that right now. There, there's stuff up there, and I want it. I want to see that stuff up there, but I don't know if this is a smart idea or not. I want to get up there. There's something up there. I want it. You have a decent amount of time. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, I'm absolutely fucked. Is there any place I can save myself? It's not draining now, right? No, it's not. Uh... I feel like, yeah, 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 over there, over there, over there, over there. I'm gonna fall to my death. I'm absolutely gonna fall to my death. I'm falling to my death right now. I want up there. You can't stop me. You cannot give me the ability to climb any wall. You're giving me a zoom? That is absolutely shit up there. You cannot convince, you cannot tell me that's not stuff up there. I will get up there. Web, just follow the trail and it will lead you up there eventually because that is obviously what the level design is telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you dismount? How do you dismount besides jumping? The tutorial probably told me. Whee! Oh, you can't climb this part? And what do you have to tell me, game? I'll go waypoints? These are entirely optional? Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, there's something down there, but I want to go up. There's a crystal up there. We're going up. We have to go up. This is, this is cool. Uh, how do I get up? I think we can probably make this. I don't know if we can make it entirely from down here, but if I shimmy around the corner and I do a little bit of this, then that should theoretically be possible. We need to be pretty efficient here with the movement, with the sh-movement. Oh yes, we can make it. Absolutely. And by getting up here, that allows us... Man, this is like... 
I wish the Made in Abyss game was more like this. Because, like, the... Like, Climbing and navigating a vertical area with limited stamina is and resources is so fun. But like, the Maiden Abyss game just does like, like uh, if you've never played the Maiden Abyss game, which if you haven't, I don't blame you because it's like mediocre at best. But imagine if because I was climbing this wall and it took me like five minutes to climb this wall because it's ten minutes elapsed time. Every five minutes some, like, flying dickhead would spawn behind me and instant kill me, okay? Like, that's that's what the Made in Abyss game is like. Also, Reg is overpowered. But that's kind of just to be expected, you know? I am not going down there because that seems like the obvious way to go. I want the crystals. My mo- Oh, oh it's metal! Okay. Lord of Metal? Alright. Uh... Lord of Metal, uh... Can you go vertically? I don't know. But we can go vertically up here, so we should. I think that's metal, so I don't know if we'll be able to climb on it. But we'll be able to find... Okay, yeah, so we can't go up that way. Let's find out if we can go vertically. We cannot go vertically. Is that just because it's metal, or if it's something else? And I also don't mind in, like, the main Abyss game when you're climbing up and it's like the Curse of the Abyss is taking you, so you have to stop climbing and just hang there for a little bit. That's fine, because it's thematically appropriate for the series. But when you have enemies spawning every five minutes, it's not fun. How do I want to do this? Let's just do it big. Aha! Okay. Now we're cooking. Now how on earth do I want to do this? I don't know. Whoa! Crystal jump scare? When I inevitably die, we'll find out, uh... If, uh, we keep the crystals or not. Because I don't know if there's, like, some esoteric checkpoint system. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer to where I want to be. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we can go up here. Alright, alright! This is cool! See, like, I, I wish the Made in Abyss game was more like this, where it's just, like, a big open area for you to climb on and have fun. Oh, there's a crystal up there? What the fuck? There's a crystal up there! It's intended! We can go up here! See, that's good shit. This is cooking. Now, I don't have time to, like, fully play this, because I have no idea when the demo ends, and I'm just going to climb on the walls for, like, eight hours. So we're just going to get up to where I init uh, initially wanted to go, and then we're going to call it, because we do have to get back to the World of Horror episode. So, yeah, I want that crystal. Current objective, get that crystal. Once we get that crystal, it's over. This is really fucking cool, though. Okay, so we can't go up there, because this shit's all metal. Actually, hold on. I retract that statement. That's concrete. All right, we are cooking. What was he cooking? Oh boy, I was cooking. That's like my new favorite word, by the way, so like, don't worry about it too much, but we should be able to get up here. Dun, 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 dun. That's beautiful, okay. And it would be like, Ooh. Okay, okay. All right, let's see what's up here first. Okay, so once we get up on these... Hmm. And see, here's the thing. This level is really good because... It, it didn't fuck up what, like, a lot of parkour games do, or, like, a lot of movement-based games do, where... Now, of course, we could fall to our death, and then I could lose all my progress, and then the episode ends because, I you know, we need to get back to the world of horror. But what a lot of, like, exploration games do 
that they fuck up is they'll have like the you cannot interact with this material loser um and that'll be like you know sad because you hold on i don't know if i'll fall to death here so i'm gonna like do that but uh you know they'll they'll have like ooh, this is gonna be fucking crazy uh we should go up here because then we have a place to stand before we slide off but uh a lot of them are like you know for parkour games the parkour is like super limited in what you can do because they don't want the player to actually explore they want to the player to go through a very limited area right and so i have no idea if we're going the right way or not in fact let's find out oh i guess we are going the right way fuck <laughs> i guess this was intended i just stumbled upon the intended path for fun wait this isn't a slide what Uh, okay, so that's not climbable. So we need to get onto there, and then we can get to the next one. Okay. Whee! Oh, whoops. Uh, oh, hey, we have a thing here. All right, neat. Okay, so we've made it up here where all these things are. Um, but yeah, no, like a lot of games that have like exploration and mechanics and stuff like this, is the stuff's just annoying to use, right? Like, they'll have, like, it'll be it'll be very restrictive on what you can and can't do. And so, because, oh, there was one over there. There was the there the crystal up there. Excuse me. What was he cooking? Failed biome? Yeah, true. Find your way down the largest pipe, feed pipe, neat. But yeah, this is cool. I'm buying this game. This is a, this is a good game. Uh, so I can't climb this. So see, like this is a challenge. Like they they put something that you normally like. The it, it the world seems intelligently designed for like parkour, and that is what I like, because a lot of games they don't do it very well. <laughs> they actually do it very poorly. I have an idea. We're getting to the other side. Hobi, let's go! I want to see what's on the other side. But yeah, there's, there's, like... A, a lot of games that have, like, exploration and wall climbing and stuff like this... I think I got it. Do I have enough stamina for this? We'll find out. We probably have a checkpoint pretty close by, so... Worst case scenario. Like, I kind of just want to slide down there, and it'll be fine, you know? Like, we just do a little slide, and we, we jump on the crystal, just for fun. Just as a, a little treat, you know? Just a little slide for fun. Please, please! They did not catch my fall. My ass was falling. Um, but yeah, it's like... My ass was falling. Unfortunate. So we're, we're gonna call it here because I got where I wanted to get. But uh, my my thoughts with something like this is, a lot of exploration games are ruined because they clearly define where you can climb and where you can't climb, and where you can climb is like super limited and restrictive, and you just feel like you're not allowed to have an adventure. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? How far down can we go? Oh my god. No, wait, 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 wait. How big is this? Oh my god. But, like, you know what I mean, right? Like, and when you do have a, like, a fun exploration game, it doesn't really... I don't know. My, my brain is scattered. It's a fun game. It's called Lauren's Lure. If you watch this point in the video. It's, it's pretty neat. I like it a lot. What do we got here? Strength? Charisma, knowledge, seconds. Strength, charisma, knowledge, seconds? Okay. No dexterity Andes tonight? Okay, okay. She ain't... Well, maybe she is Falco. She is Falco. Well, we haven't tried to dodge yet, so maybe she'll prove me wrong. Uh, what are we doing? I don't know. I mean, light source knowledge, you know exactly what weapon we're going to be using. We're playing Miku, so it's a little bit more consistent with getting these checks. So with strength, knowledge, and charisma, we can definitely make that happen. Strength is going to happen automatically, assuming nothing really bad happens. And 
uh, outside of that, we'll probably be fine. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it big. Oh, yeah, we can't. This is the only thing that I hate about quick plays. You can't use the cool outfit. I, I like the demon outfit. It's my favorite. Okay, I know this is the the agreed upon best Miku outfit, but I really love the, the demon outfit. It's cool. I, I, I am a Miku demon Andy enjoyer. Sailor's Bulletin, Abnormal Arms, Frightening Flood. So we can maybe get this as absolutely being the last mystery. This is complete random. This is guaranteed. This is completely random. And this is a maybe. So we'll do this fourth? No. Well, if we go for the kill, we should do this fourth. If not, if we're gonna get a bad ending, we'll go for mystery three. But let's do Bulletin first. Because... We're not gonna get owned here. Oh, hey, look, we can't go to our objective, so I guess I'll just do this. Oh, we can go to our objective, but without a weapon? Life coach. You wouldn't suggest something like that, would you? You wouldn't really- oh, god. Oh, god, I should have listened. I should have listened! Why'd you let me cook? Oh, we can go to the forest, it's fine. <laughs> oh... Oh yeah, I was really sad because, uh, well, how do I put this? I wanted to watch the new Puss in Boots movie, and I heard it was on Amazon Prime Video. And so, you know, I was talking about it, and my family member was like, Hey, I have Amazon Prime Video. And I was like, oh, rad. And so they let me use their account to watch the Puss in Boots movie, but there's a problem, okay? Clueless, the fool, the idiot I was. The new Puss in Boots movie is $25. Did I do this anecdote already? I feel like I might have. I actually don't know. But yeah, I tried to watch the Puss in Boots movie on Amazon. It was like 25 bucks. Very sad that I was uh, unable to do so. Yeah, we'll do it big. Just do it big. Yeah, just do it big. Just do it big. Just do it easy. Um, We need to go to the forest one more time. Hello, first enemy. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna run. Like, I'm just gonna bolt. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave the premises. I don't remember when this quest ends, by the way. I'm just gonna do this now. Uh, maybe you should have followed the life coach. You know, Goth Egg coulda... You know, he, he coulda done it big. What was the salmon cooking? <laughs> you tell me a salmon fried this rice? But uh, let's see, what else? Okay, big development on housing, okay? Big development on housing. So, Final Fantasy XIV. We talked about the, si the six new housing wards. One of them is for free companies. Four of them are for individuals. The last one is for... Or four of them are Omni, so anyone can bid. And then the last one, 30, is for personal use only. So... This has been, like, haunting every waking moment of free recreational time I've had, okay? Because what I've basically just been doing, what I've been cooking, is I've literally just been trying... We're doing this. Uh, I've literally just been trying to get as much gill as possible to put in as many mansion tickets as I can. And realistically speaking, the only thing that you can put in is for us was two because that's like that's like 86 85 million gil all right that's a lot of fucking money uh and so 10 doom no because we could just get six doom randomly for fun like there's no way i can say yes to that or sorry we could get 12 percent doom randomly for fun there's no way i can say yes to that get me the fuck out of this level um but yeah anyway so we had, uh, we had 40 million going into this. After some FC do- uh, after some FC donations, we go up to pretty good amount. I think it was like 60 million, 50 million, something like that. We put our first bid in for the ticket, and we want to- so basically, we're, we're working our way up from nothing. Now, thankfully, you know, there's a patch, people are- making the indicator stuff. We got some more generous FC donations. We go, we quickly rebuild the cash stack. Uh, friend gives me a small loan of a million gil. 
and it works out. We end up getting uh, 45 million, and then we put a bid on a different house. So the second bid is in as far as last night goes, and there are two more days remaining. And by that, I mean the 20th is when we get to see if we won one of them. We put a bid on... So the first bid that we did was the bid that I did, and it was the earliest bid. It was the first bid. And so that kind of, you know, it dissuades people from bidding until the end because they want to pick one of the lowest amount of bids, right? So we go in, and we have, I think, currently a 20% chance to win that lot. Then, the other lot that we bid on last night, uh, Josephine did that, we have a 25% chance to win. So, I'm a little nervous, obviously, because, listen, for my sanity, I'm not trying to grind 40 million more gil. If I was insane and had all the free time in the world and didn't need to sleep, I could probably get 40 million gil again. Like, I was pulling, like, 2 to 3 million gil, like, every hour. You know, I was going hard in the gut mines, okay? I was going hard in the gut mines. But I can't do that. I'm... Uh, I am mortal. Oh, is this a dog moment? Is this a dog Emmerdale moment? Perhaps. But, uh... We've only seen the one enemy, right? So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even see where it says, like, you've encountered an enemy. At all. Like, I know we ran away from somebody. <laughs> so I'll just try to remember the next person. And I'll try to remember this is the second uh, mystery. But no promises. Abnormal arms is so bad. I mean, I guess we can do sa- why Wait, why would I do sailors now? That's terrible. I need to discard two items. I don't have two items. How do I get two items? I know how to get two items. It's fine. It's... Look who it is. Oh, let's go. First try. $4 for a bottle of water in this economy? Jesus Christ. Okay, we, we can... We can buy some time. I didn't have to go there immediately. Um... Yeah, sure, we can take a nap. Just go up to 36% doom for fun. 35% doom in this economy? Amazing. But, uh, what was I saying? I don't know. Is the ghoul moment? This- this is our, uh, second enemy? Ghoul gaming? Is this even worth fighting? I wonder if we throw the brick. That would be so funny. No, we have two coin tosses, are you crazy? This is so bad. Find a brick on the floor, you pick it up. Of course I'm throwing it. I want to get out of this hell. We'll go grab another one. Don't miss. Oh, thank God. Okay, bricks are easier to find if you don't have one. That's what the, the game has told me. Please. Please, vending machine. Hey, this is a thing. We got an injury? We, we're an injury moment? Tiny cuts? Okay, that's fine. When did we get the seal of Bramel? <laughs> Unlimited money? Or a stat that we don't need. I mean, we do need leadership. We actually need two points in charisma. So hopefully that can come back later. I do need to get, like, one more item. I don't know if going to the... Well, this could get us a... This could get us an item. Or not. And I did it like this because I want this. Yes, I, I do. So it's a little bit weird, but... We need to discard two items. We have one item we can discard. Buy them around? Sure. Why not? Okay. Uh, now, do we try to get a brick, or do we try to get an item from here? We're going to try to get a brick. Because here's the thing. We go here, it's 1% doom, 3% doom to get a more uh, another item. So if we go here two times and we don't get a brick, then the History Club would have been more efficient. Hey, there we go. So, discard the brick, and discard the library notes, and- No! You beast! No! Oh, hell. Nice. I love hell. 
no shot we're doing 24 damage and 6 attacks with a 65%. Absolutely not. Good good day, Drowner Sponge. Good day. I really hate this. We're we're gonna we're gonna lose the run. We're gonna lose the run because we uh we had to run and that's that's pretty bad. Uh always help the homies. Always help the homies. Click twice here, wait for the delay to go through, and you're out. Well, we have a light source now. We have another one. That's cool. I like that. So I was going to use the Inspiring Novel on Flood, but I think we need to, like, guarantee that this happens. Oh my god, we have abnormal arms! And there's no way to tell! And we can't use the Inspiring Novel mid-combat! So we can't just go here and be like, Oopsie Daisy Centipede, and then read the Inspiring Novel while a centipede is crawling on our face in a vent. We can't do that. It's illegal. Pantstash doesn't let you. Pantstash says no books during combat, and by that I mean no book effects, uh, no inspiring novel effects during combat if you read it in combat. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, because I remember it doesn't work, and I'm probably right. I could be wrong. Um, oh, uh, so what do we do? Do I just do, like, do we do inspiring novel flood now? And just hope that, like, the minus two damage... Or, sorry, the minus one damage and the plus four will be good enough with our shitty accuracy? And then what? <laughs> and then what? I don't know. Um... Because this enemy is a nightmare. And if we get the enemy, then it's even worse, because that's even more doom. Is plus four damage good enough? Eh, fuck it. What was she cooking? What was she cooking? Well, I mean, that'll work. Uh, we just don't... Uh, get, we just don't want to miss. Missing would be pretty bad, you know? I, I don't want to think about... I don't want to think about the reality we're still in this combat with three stamina health. I don't want to think about that. We got lucky. I don't want to. I don't want to think. No thoughts had empty. Absolutely. Um. Uh. Is this location doomed? I mean, this is a luck check. Eh, sure. Whatever. Okay. We're gonna get all of them, so we might as well just do it big, right? We'll level up before we die, right? We'll level up before we die. These, they don't count as allies, so we can't share the thing with them. I'm not calling Saul. Ah, oh, fuck. The raid boss of my life. My hopes and dreams in here. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Nice to see you. Oh, wait, hold on. Goodbye, young witch. 15 damage. What the? Geologist acquired. Uh, linguist now. Because I'm committed to the bit and we're getting all of them. Witness curse. <laughs> no. No, I will I will not. I refuse. Um I don't remember which one just gives you the injury. I'm pretty sure it just gives you the injury. Also, I always loved the guy on the right here smoking the cigarette and the guy on the left. I've always loved both of them. Their designs are peak, impeccable. Uh I'm gonna look this uh, this is a wiki moment. This is a wiki moment. I, it's true, it's a wiki moment. Okay, yeah. I, I, I felt like I was leaning towards the, uh, the, the right option. That artery? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's bad. <laughs> um. Huh. Uh. Uh. Hey, do you think that maybe just plus two damage is fine? <laughs> No. No. No, I cannot do that. There's no. No, we don't have adrenaline. I can't do. No. Why did we have to get the bleed? Okay, fine. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's ball. We, we, we don't need stamina. Oh, God. Um. If any of these. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what these do. 
Don't blink. Well, at least you can go to the hospital now. We really need to go to the hospital. Miku is in dire need of the hospital. Uh, hold on. This is another wiki moment. I know, I know. I'm relying on the wiki too much these days. I, I do apologize for that. But, uh, I don't know. It, it's a lot to remember, and I've done this like 8 million times before. Yo, what up? Let's search the room for clues. Oh my god, the lag! Is that an encoding overloaded moment? Are we good? I think we're good, right? I don't see anything sketchy. Also, what did we get? Oh my god. Oh my god, we made it? Are we alive? Please? Don't kill me? Don't kill me when we go in? Holy shit, we did it. Holy shit. And it doesn't have the... There's no bonus damage for it being late in the game. Rip Bozo Pack Watch. Oh my fucking god, our combat is so bad. It's only sanity damage, though. The bleed's random, though, right? So... Okay, do I want a desperation here just to try? So here's the thing. This is gonna do... Not enough. Wait, no, it would. It would do, um... Wait, no, it would do 16, right? So I would need to... Desperation... Repair... And then heavy attack. That should kill in one hit. Oh, no. Wait, what? Wait. Okay, no, sorry. I'm dumb as hell. I thought that was going to do six and I was going to do eight. But yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. We should be able to block and then we should be able to prep. Uh-oh. Uh, we should be able to block and then do a kick. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we have to block every turn, by the way. Actually, do we have anything that's going to kill us? No. Panic is going to, but that's fine. Also, if I pricked it with a needle, we would also fucking die, but that's okay. Um, go, go, gadget? Do we, do we gadget torch moment? No. Because I, I don't want to get badly bleeding again. Like, that would be pretty bad, right? So... Do we just do six damage? <laughs> is, this, is this what we do every single time? I'm throwing the torch. This is a short-sighted decision. But, like, because we can't even guarantee that we can do the full, like, 16 damage. So, you know, we'll, we'll try to speed it up a little bit. But if, if you miss, then you have to commit to the bit even more. And then you're going to just fucking die, you know? So it's like, um... Okay, so... There's no way. I gotta do it like this. I, I'm so scared. Like, there's no way I can do it the other way. If we miss, we're dead. Okay, prep. Rip Bozo. Pack Watch. Won't be missed. Die. Oh my god, we healed. We never rested once. Okay, that was the weirdest flood I've ever done, and probably ever will do, so... I love these perks! They're so good! I guess we'll take art knowledge, right? Because we're going to... to... yeah, 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 yeah. We got the school lined up. I would like to put a point into charisma here, but I'm not that crazy. Like, I'm not that twisted, I'm not that wacky, I'm not that wild. Okay, I'm not that sick with it. We've got stamina boss after stamina boss coming up here. So, here's what we're gonna do. This is a minor case of a major cut artery. We are going to have to get that addressed. I love Doom. Hey, we are go- hey, we can go to that damn hospital right now. That's fantastic. Cut artery, get that taken care of. Swollen joint, get that taken care of. It's actually kind of risky to do that, but... Because we're probably never going to be running away from a fight ever again. Because it's going to be too hard. But, uh, whatchamacallit. Here's the thing, okay? Here's how this works. We win if we get timeline A here. And Yagathag doesn't purposely decide that we lose the game. Right now, Yagathag's being really cool. So, yeah. We should be completely fine. Now, that's a little bit risky, but you know what? He's telling me to go to the monument. 
And I'll do that. Did I get cursed here three times? No. Here, give me stamina. Nice. I, I love that. Uh, luck check? A luck check? No. I would rather not. It would be pretty cool if we made it, but, you know. It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll be a little sweaty. We are trying to win, after all. Read the letters. Oh no, my money, it's broken. My boy. Also, this entirely is based off if I can remember my second enemy, which I probably can't. <laughs> uh, so, you know. Okay. So, do it big. Do it big. Ending A. That's what we're looking for. Uh, rebuke? Minus one funds, plus two. Listen here, you piece. Okay, come on. Come on, this is it. This decides it. This literally decides it. Let's go! That's what I've been waiting for, baby! Okay, we now we have to figure out the second enemy. Which, uh, maybe, or- which may or may not happen. Uh... Build the stack back up? Yeah, sure. Are we gonna level up one more time to get charisma up? Leadership's been showing up so much. I'm so sorry, leadership. You, you've been trying to get me to pick you, and I want to take you. But I have not been able to yet, and I, I apologize for that. I would really like to take leadership as a perk. Now, uh, refute them? We're smart. Oh, shit. Eight! You cannot make me roll an eight there. That is so, that is so mean. That is so incredibly mean. Oh, my God. Don't blink. I didn't blink. Well, now I did, but we're in another event, so it's fine. You, you, you cannot be that mean. You cannot be that cruel. Okay, go to the monument. That's fine. What do you want? Money? Beautiful. Absolutely. Okay, go to the monument. What do you want? Sanity? Not beautiful, but... Oh, y'all get egg! Goth egg! What are you doing? I'm not going to the seat. I... Oh, why? Why would you do this to me? This is so mean. I don't know what to do here. I can't just make Goth Egg mad, can I? It's a dangerous. Uh, yeah, whatever. Getting furious. If, if that's super risky. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. One moment. Calculating. Uh, uh oh. Nice. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna block, and then we're gonna hit him over the head. Oh shit, we can't guarantee this? Does this matter? Hold on. Because this is gonna do eight, and then that's gonna do... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. We have to take a chance? Hold on. This, which is guaranteed, does 16. It's very nice. We like that a lot. If we hit the gritty here, goes down to 16. Okay, so that's that's what we're gonna do. We're, we're, we need to take a chance at some point, unless we can cheese it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to take a chance at some point. We're gonna take the chance now. So now we can readjust, hit desperation, 100%, 102%, 102%, goodbye. bozo. pack watch. Uh... No, you can't do this to me! Okay, we need to follow the life coach. I can get cursed here one more time. I will do it this. Innsmouth look. Oh, hey, look! Look at that. Oh. Uh. I don't mean to be rude here, but I, I kind of need in this location. Are you telling me to go to the vending machine once? Do I do that? Do I really do that just to get five damage? Oh, I don't want to. Because I, I, I forgore my second enemy. Oh, I don't want to. I would rather not. 
I could just do it big. Like, it's gonna be 2% doom no matter what, right? So, I could just do it big. I could just do it big. Yeah, 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 just do it big. Just do it big. We, we do a little, let's go! Let's go! That's what I've been waiting for! The art knowledge clutch! This is timeline A, actually. Um, but we, we need to fight. We need to fight. That is non-negotiable. We are fighting because we cannot afford the doom. So, we're gonna throw- it's time to throw hands. It's to oh my god, we have an 85% chance. Oh, n oh god, okay. God, if only we had two more knowledge somehow. <laughs> if only. Okay, we're hitting it big. 85% gambit. This is what we're doing. This is what we do here. I want you to know that. This would do five. Is that- ah, it's guaranteed. That's doing seven. I really like the seven. The seven's really nice. We miss a seven and we cry, you know? What's our- what's our lethal? What's our lethal range? Uh... We don't really have a lethal range, because we cannot guarantee anything. But... We can survive... Oh wait, no. He swings his axe menacingly. We have to keep blocking. We can take him down to 21. He takes us down to 3. Then we can take him down. Oh. Take him down to 19. One more? W one more? No, I don't want to do another 85% chance. Are you crazy? Oh, this sucks. We have light source. We need to keep it. We take him down. Okay, we take him down to 21, right? This is gonna do... Ugh. So we do this. This is gonna do nine, right? Because it's the bonus. Ugh. I'm not happy about this. I, I don't like s putting the game on, like, just a couple of percent chances that we could win or could lose on. But this is... Theoretically, 18 damage, right? We have two turns left. Well, technically three. We die on the third turn. We die at the end of our third turn. So, we can get him down to 18. Or, we, we, can, we can get him... Yeah, we, we can get him down there. So, we brace. We guarantee that it happens. And we do it. We brace. We guarantee that it happens. And we do it. Then, we are going to Desperation, and th what would this do? This is going to do 14, right? No, 13. Yeah, it's going to do 13, so we have one 95% chance to hit. That's it. Oh, thank God. Okay. Now then, Blood Moon. <laughs> Great, wonderful. So, I want to get Leadership if I can, because right now we're just suffering minus three reason. Because that's it. If we get 8 Charisma, then we're no longer suffering the minus 3 reason. So I guess I'll just put a point into Sanity again? Yeah, just put a point into Sanity, I guess. Because we don't have anything that's going to cause us any external damage, so... Because we'll have Desperation range when we go into Takashi, because... Let me just verify, there's no Dexterity check that I just blatantly missed. Strength, Takashi, Charisma, Knowledge, your seconds. Do we have Heart of Darkness? We do, it's the first thing that we got. Okay, so, yeah, there's no dexterity, so we just have to live it. So, currently, we are living, just so you know. If we get leadership, then that's just a nice little, you know, rounded out. It might be better just to make our combat, like, objectively more powerful, but we can do it like this. There's no reason why we can't, because we've got eight strengths, so we're good here. We're good here. We're good here. Now we're good here. Uh, we're good here, so we're not taking any damage besides the potential plus ten doom. And we don't have anything like branded, so honestly, it's looking okay. So yeah, and if there was a dexterity check here, which there isn't, uh, we could have taken plus one dexterity and then leadership, because it showed up again. I'm so sorry, leadership. You deserve better. You would have actually been helpful this run, and I just kind of neglected it. So yeah, we, we've got some wiggle room. We're feeling pretty good about that. I can't really, yeah. I can't really complain. It, it was just those, like, last, like, we did those 85s, and I was like, oh, God. We'll see how far 
we could have gotten if we just took the 6%. Because we could have taken 6% right now and been at 91. So do keep that in mind. We, we could have completely bypassed the difficult fight. Throw an art exhibit at him? Hey. So we, we could have bypassed the difficult fight. I mean, this is like... And we could even uh, throw the heavy duty flashlight here, right? So like... So this is doing, like this is gonna kill him if all three hit. All right, I'm fine with that. I mean, they, they were likely to hit, but you know, with this game, you never know. Also, were there was there even a light source check? I just like willed that into existence. <laughs> so we didn't even need this. Um, oh, it was Ghoul. I remember saying Ghoul Gaming, right? It just said Ghoul Gaming, and it's like, oh, Ghoul Gaming! Okay, cool. Uh, Bulletin was the thing that we did first. We did uh, Sailor's second. Yeah, 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 we fished for the brick. So here's the thing that's very interesting. We could have taken the, uh, because we didn't have to rest, our stats lined up really nicely. We could have taken the 6% Doom Andy. Now, obviously, I want to point something out. We're at 89 right now. If I forgot both my enemy and my second mystery, then we still would have won, which is crazy. However, that only was applicable because we fought the boss. If we took the, uh, the distract him ending or the burn it all down ending or anything like that, we would have been in a situation where we would have had to get at least one of them because we would be at 95% uh, doom right now. So that's pretty interesting how the run works. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode of World of Horror. Here are the stats for the run. 35, 22. Oh, 30 new events and nine new enemies? My favorite, my, my least favorite of the nine new enemies are the people who are bidding on the housing plot that I am. Uh, I obviously hope that I win the housing plot for my FC. Stay safe out there, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.